Dialogue does not mean we're going to get a solution. It means we're trying to reach a solution. Welcome again with uh, our conversation with Archbishop Angelos, the Archbishop of London in the Coptic Church. And this time, I'm going to ask him about conflict and resolution in relationship with dialogue. Well, we are in the 21st century, but we are much, much less peaceful and, and the, the world is not a good place at the moment to live in. What on earth is happening? I do think we need to be careful when we co constantly compare. Of course, there have been better times in our history, but there have been Terrible fundamentally times. worse times, even in terms of war, conflict, aggression, uh, terror, violence. We've lived through two world wars. We've lived through horrific wars in the Middle Ages. On the human level, on the religious level, how do you feel that dialogue is, is going at the moment? Dialogue does not mean we're going to get a solution. It means we're trying to reach a solution. And you know, the, the old adage that says, the journey is the destination. So, so a lot of the time, the open channels, the journey is part of a solution, even if it's incremental and gradual, it becomes part of that. We're talking about conflicts that may have been formed over a year or a decade or a century sometimes. Um, and so we do need to be more patient. We need to understand opening in lines of communication, having mutual respect is very important. That takes time. But I think it also needs for the parties to be very honest about what they want to achieve. I need to be able to walk into a dialogue and be ready and willing and able to see the issue from the other perspective. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. Otherwise, all I'm going to be doing is fighting my own corner. So finally, my, my question would be, how can we improve the dialogue that can address the conflicts and, and, and the, the, the issues that we have today? We need to define what we're going to dialogue on. Dialogue is dependent on a, a, either a mutual understanding or a middle ground. Mutual understanding could work. For some things, there is no middle ground. Absolutely. And so if we're building, assessing successive dialogue on finding middle ground, is not going to work. What we can find a middle ground on is other issues, like ethical issues, moral issues, social issues, that we can then come together on, and through that, be able to work more. Thank you very much. We pray and we hope that dialogue in this world will be more fruitful with the grace of God, that we may live in a better place and bring better life to humanity. Thank you. <laughs>